I'm Doug Gorman, and I'd like to share with you the story of the Stones of Tutankhamun. Inside this beautiful Egyptian box, we find two magnificently hand-turned wooden vases. On my left is a vase of dark mahogany. On my right, a vase of light mahogany. Oh, and I'd also like to share with you in two magical stones. One black, one white. These stones derive their magical powers, I suspect, from their previous role as jewels on the tomb of King Tutankhamun. The white stone signifies the presence inside of the light-colored vase of a white ball. The black stone signifies the presence inside of the dark-colored vase of a black ball. Black and white. I'll place them in my pockets, but because of the power of the stones of Tutankhamun, the balls return to the vases from whence they came. <laughs> oh yes, they're balls. I'll return the black ball uh, to the dark colored vase. I'll return the white ball to the light colored vase. Now, if I transpose the stones, the balls transpose as well. That is, the black ball follows the black stone. The white ball follows the white stone. Black and white power of the stones of Tutankhamun. I'll place the white ball in my left jacket pocket. I'll place the black ball into my right jacket pocket. Now, if I transpose the stones, not only do the balls return to the vases, but they do so transpose. That's right, the white ball has once again followed the white stone. The black ball has once again followed the black stone. Black and white, the power of the stones of Tutankhamun. And now, if I may, I'd like to do something with the stones themselves. I'll place them in the palm of my hand. I rub them together vigorously. The harder and faster I rub them, the hotter and hotter they become until ultimately they become red hot too hot to handle, just as the balls have returned, once again, now red, thus demonstrating beyond all doubt the power of the stones of Tutankhamun. Thank you very much.